Good evening, class. Good evening. How are we doing tonight? Ah, Toy, how was the hospital? Yes, it's okay. It's still a lot of patients. A lot of patients? Well, that's okay. You won't go out of business. Guy, you have a new job now? Yes. Yeah, where are you working now? Um, I work at the Phuket Oh, well, congratulations. That's good. Rome, how is your fitness going? <laughs> All right, good. Okay, has anybody seen this before? That's red lorry, yellow lorry. All right, and this is one example of something we use for pronunciation practice. Do we know what it's called? Something about our tongue? This is called a tongue twister. All right, so everybody, give. Give it a try saying red lorry, yellow lorry. Red, red, red. Is that easy to say? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try it slowly first. All right. Repeat after me. Red. 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 Lorry. Lorry. Yellow. 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 Lorry. Lorry. Okay. Now how about red lorry? Red, red lorry. Yellow lorry. Red lorry. Red lorry. Yellow lorry. Yellow Red lorry. Yellow lorry. Red lorry. Yellow lorry. <laughs> All right. In pairs. Okay. Try and give this a shot of saying this to, to your partner. Red lorry. Yellow lorry. Okay. okay, good. So, this is an example of what's called a tongue twister. I think you have some of these in Thai as well. Yeah? All right, I've learned a few. I have some more here. And when I give you your new tongue twister, again, in pairs, try to say the tongue twister to your partner. These are more difficult. Fred threw three free throws. Tight, bright, right, light. Sally's saucy seesaw sang songs. Freshly fried flying fish. Chuck cooked chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so let's give those a shot here. Meow and guy. Toy and not. Dewey. And Riff, uh, actually, Oth, Riff, and Jui, okay, Ati, and Win, and Rom, and Venda. Try that, saying it to your partner. Okay, finish up what you're doing there. All right. So does anybody want to try their tongue twister for the class? Mm, who's, who's our volunteer today? Mm. Oh, very good, Ati. All right, could you tell the class what your tongue twister was? Okay, that's pretty good. When can you try it? Okay, that's a good effort. Anybody else want to try theirs? Okay, Rom? That was pretty good. Huh? Rom's saying it quite slowly and trying to make sure she says it correctly. One more time, Rom? 
Okay, good. Let's try that together. Chuck, Chuck. cooked, Cook. chocolate, chocolate. Chip. chip, cookies. cookies. Chuck cooked chocolate chip cookies. All right, good job. Okay, let's have those back then. Now, what, w what we're going to look at now is what sounds words make. Okay, what sounds the words make. And it's going to be different than the letters that we see in the words. How many letters are in this word? Three letters, right? How many sounds are in that word? When we say that word, how many sounds are coming out of our mouth? One. One. Let's, let's slow it down a little bit. We have w, w, a, n, w, a, n. W, uh, n. Okay. Those are three sounds in there. Okay, we have a w, a, uh, n. We make it very quick and it becomes one. One. So we have three sounds in that word. Now we have three letters in the word two. How many sounds are being made? Three. Three. Okay. Here we have two. Okay, we slow it down. And what two sounds are coming out to make that from? Good. T and U. Two. How about three? Two? Okay, what are the two sounds now? Okay, Venda, what are the three sounds coming out? Okay, that's, that's close, right? Okay, but we have to practice this sound here. Without the H, it's T. But with the H, what sound is that? All right, we have to stick our tongue out a little bit, yeah? And three. Okay, so we have er, e. Er, e. All right. Now, let's look at six. How many sounds are being made when we say six? Riff says two sounds. Note says three sounds. Can anybody find a fourth sound? We have s, e, k, and This X is really like a K and an S put together. S -e -k -s. Say that to your partner. Say this, this word and see if you can find the four sounds. Uh, good job. All right. 
So again, that's s, e, k, s. And we get six. How about seven? Note says three. Riff says five. S, e, v, e, m. Actually, five sounds, right? S, e, v, e, m. Seven makes five sounds. S, e, v, e, m. Seven. Now, what about eight? Eight. So, nice short word. How many sounds? A, t, a, t. Right? It's just a, t. We've got two sounds. All right? Eight. All right? So, three letters and three sounds, three letters and two sounds, five letters and three sounds. Okay? So the sounds don't always match up with the number of letters. Let's look at a few more words. We have eight more words here. Car. How many letters in the word car? Or how many sounds in the word car? Three. Three. Three sounds, Riff. What are they? <laughs> wow, very good. That's great, Riff. We have the k, a, er, car. This. How many sounds in this? Three sounds. Th, I, s. How about comb? Comb. Four. Note says three. What sounds are the three sounds? It's hard to separate them, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And mm. We don't. Do we say the B at the end? Do we say the B at the end? Is the word comb? No. Oh. So we drop the B and we have k o m. Sing. How many sounds? Three sounds. Mao, what are our three sounds? Yeah. We have s, e, m, m. You have this sound in Thai, in Thai language, a lot. M. So s, e, m. Sing. Right? Now, how about school? Mal's got that one. Okay. When, how many sounds are in the word school? Very good. There are four. S, k, u, u. Right. We see the CH here. Does that make the ch sound? No. no. Good. All right. So that's four. 
Now, how about teacher? Teacher. Five, we have. Yeah. We might say there are five sounds, but one of them are so close together. Let's just say four. T, E, ch, er, er. Right? This makes another sound, but it's very close. So let's call this one sound. T, E, ch, er. Now how about this taxi? Remember our X makes two sounds. Riff, where are our five sounds there? That's very good, Riff. That's perfect. There's five sounds in there. T, A, K, S, E, Taxi. Taxi. Let's try to say that one together. Everybody listen and repeat. Taxi. 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 Great. Ati? Taxi. Perfect. Rit? Taxi. Perfect. Again. O? Taxi. Very clear. Very nice. And English. This is a little bit longer. Mel, that's very good. Okay, let's let's walk through this here. We have a, m, g, l, e, sh, English. All of those together make six sounds. Right. So hopefully we see that the number of sounds don't always go to the letters. These two letters combine to make one sound. This CH isn't even the normal CH. The B, we don't even say. And the X is really like two letters. Right? So, what we want to do today is look at the sounds and hear the sounds that we're making instead of thinking about what letters we need to make the word. Letters, the way we've always seen them, they're for reading and writing. Okay, we have to read and write a certain way that we've learned. But now we're going to be looking at how we say the words. Okay, we're concerned with the sounds and how people are listening to those sounds. So this is about listening and speaking instead of reading. And now, I can take one sound in the English language and spell it many, many different ways. For example, What is a bear? Is it a tree? What is a bear? It's an animal, right? Has anybody seen bear. this bear? What does this bear mean? Yeah, we could say nothing, sure. It's it's close to a to a word like naked. Yeah, no, no covering or nothing. Yeah, atty nothing. Hey, it's bear. Bear and bear. Two different ways to spell it. Now let's take this. Fair. Okay, you can go to the fair. What is that fair? Uh, not fair is this fair. And what is this fair? If I told you that my taxi fare was very expensive, 
what would the taxi fare be? It's the fee, okay? It's the fare, okay? The, the amount we pay for a ticket, okay? And so we take this fare, okay? Or I'm sorry, this fare, and we can make a pair, okay? How many things make up one pair? Two things, very good. And how about, um, does anybody know about something we eat? Right, it's a fruit, but that's pear. Okay? And it doesn't stop there. In fact, we've got there. There. Is that the only there in the English language? There. We even have one more there, but it's not really one word. It's a contraction, right? They are or there. Look at all these ways we can spell the same sound. So, is spelling a very good way to try to learn how to say a sound? To look at all these different ways to spell the same sound. Right? That's why we're going to look at a different way to look at the sounds we're making. Okay? In our English alphabet, how do we make a ch sound? Which letter, which one letter makes the ch sound? Is there one letter that we can do that with? No. What about the sh sound? Is there one letter we can use to make sh? Or how about th or th? Okay. We need to put two letters together to make those sounds. Okay. So let's look at a different way to think about how we're saying these words. Okay. Has anybody seen this before? <laughs> exactly, Toy. Exactly. Right? We see it in dictionaries. Phonics. Okay? This is the phonemic alphabet. The phonemic alphabet. Well, we have our Roman alphabet. These letters here. Letters are symbols. They represent things. These are also symbols. But they represent only one sound. Each one of these boxes represents one sound. Okay? So, we don't really have that with the Roman alphabet. One way to spell a word can represent two sounds. But if we use this alphabet, we can't do that. Okay? We're looking at this alphabet because each symbol really represents one sound. Okay? So let's look at ways to use this here. The top is not colored. Okay? The top is all of our vowel sounds. And we'll have to look at those later. Okay, we'll look at those later. We're interested in these sounds here in the bottom, the ones that are colored. Okay? So, do many of these look familiar to you? Okay? Most of these are the same as what we've learned in, in language lessons or school. Many of these, the M makes a M sound, the D makes a D sound. 
Okay. Here in this colored section, we have eight symbols which we haven't seen before. Okay. Actually, there's seven we haven't seen, and there's one that we have seen, but we use it in a different way. Okay. Let's take a look at those. We have this sound. Good. Okay. This symbol, okay, makes a ch sound. Ch or our ch. Right. That symbol is here. Next to it, we have this symbol. Okay. This symbol is J. Okay, listen and repeat. J. 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 Okay. Now, this symbol here. is very close. Riff, have you studied this before? Yeah? OK. And this symbol. These are very, very close. They're spelt the same way in English, but they sound different. Exactly, Riff. All right. We have th, th, and Th. Th. Let's listen and repeat. One difference between these two sounds, okay? They vibrate. All right. Again, one more time. Put your fingers on your on your Adam's apple there, okay? All right. Vibration, no vibration. All right. This symbol. What letters in our normal alphabet make this sound? S H, right? This is the sh. Close to that is a symbol here, and this is a zh, zh sound. Again, the only difference is vibration. Shh and shh. Listen and repeat. Shh. 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 Okay. So These sounds are made the same way, and these sounds are made the same way. But here, we don't vibrate our vocal cords, and here, we are vibrating the vocal cords. Two more to go. This one, it looks like an N, but it's got a little bit of another letter in there. It's got a long tail. Okay. This symbol represents mmm. 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 Mm. You have a letter like this in your Thai alphabet. Okay. Up. Okay. And our last one, 
we've all seen this symbol, okay, but now we're using it differently. This is a J, yeah, but it doesn't make the J sound. Okay, which one makes the J sound? This is the J sound. This makes a Y, Y, like a Y sound. Y. Why are we making these new symbols? Here, we have all kinds of letters to make all kinds of sounds. Here, we have one symbol for one sound. Once you learn these symbols, it's much easier to identify which sound needs to be made. All right, so let's take a look at our new symbols and see if we remember what sounds they're making. So. If I show you a symbol, I want you to make the sound that it, that it represents. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Olaf. J. J. What word would use this symbol? J, right? But what's a word that might use this symbol? Exactly, Goy, very good. Juice. The J in juice. Exactly, exactly. And what word might we use this sound with, Rom? Ch. Ch. Chip. Very good. And Riff? Watch. Watch. Great. Okay. There we go. I hear some different sounds that are being made. Okay. Everybody try it again. Listen and repeat. That. 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 Okay. It's that nice, soft sound. What words might use this symbol and have this sound? Then? Measure. 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 Great. Any other words we can think of? What rhymes with measure? Match, match. Listen to the difference. Match. Match. And zh. That's a different sound. If we have measure, we can also have treasure. 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 And I bet it would be a pleasure to find a treasure. Okay, pleasure. Treasure, measure, okay, this sound here. And we have okay. I like to remember this one. Okay, I like to ski, yeah, skiing, and you shh down the mountain. Okay. What word might use this symbol? 
Ship. Ship. Good. Shoe. Very good. Wash. Watch. This one? No. Wash. Wash. Good. All right. This one here? Mmm. Mmm. All right. J. J. Again, all right. And what word would use this one? Jump. Great. Jump. And our last one? This one is? Thing. Our vocal cords don't vibrate with this one. Who can think of a word that begins with this? Think. Think. Very good, Rip. Think. Okay. So, we have our number of sounds, and we have our new symbols that represent a sound. If I give you a word like catch and jogging, how many sounds are in this word, catch? How many sounds are in this word? Four. I heard four. I think I heard three. Let's look. We have Ah, ch, k, a, ch, catch is the T is silent. If it wasn't silent, I would have to say cat, ch, cat, ch, but we leave it out. Catch. Then we have jogging. There's two G's, but how many sounds are made with these two G's? Just one sound. Great, Venda. So how many sounds are in that letter, or in that word? I heard five from Goy and Venda. That's correct. J. A. G. I, mm. The NG makes one sound, and the double G makes one sound. J, A, G, I, mm. So in pairs, we did number one and number two together. Let's look at the rest of these and see how many sounds are in the rest of these words. Working two by two, Venda and Rom. Win and Ati. North and Riff and Dewey. Yes, thank you. Not and Toy. Guy and Mao. Okay, so let's review our worksheet here. We did one and two together. Let's look at number three. What word is that, Ati? Okay, four sounds. 
Let's look at this. Slow it down really slowly. Oh, uh, sports. And I think I heard a six in there. Six. Okay. Each letter makes its own sound. Okay, you can just listen first. S, p, a, er, t, s. Alright. Now sometimes in Thailand I hear sapot. Sapot. I like sapot. Alright? Uh, ice cream, yeah. We don't want to make a vowel sound in between the S and the P. And for sure we want to say the S sports. Now look at leisure. How many sounds are in the word leisure? Jui. Four sounds. Jui, that was very clear. And there are four sounds. Spot on. Yeah, <laughs> Jui is spot on. Leisure. And how about five? What is that word, Rom? Singer. Singer. One more in there. Gives us four. S, E, N, G, R. Singer. Singer. We don't say the G. Don't say it. S, E, N, R. Singer. And how about six? Lounge. Lounge. L, A, N, Ch, lounge, four, lounge, jumper, no, how many sounds are in the word jumper, four, I heard four, did anybody get a different answer, five, J, A, M, P, A, R, jumper, J, a, m, p, er, jumper. How about swimming? Swimming. Mal, what did you get for swimming? Four. We've got a lot of letters in there. I heard six here. Okay. Swimming, swimming. And how about nine? Football. Double letters, but only one sound for each one. Four. Six. Very good, Riff. Three. Ball. B. A. U. Three and three is six. Now, this one, a bit like sports, sometimes I hear salip. <laughs> I like salip, right? Do we want to put the uh sound in there? Exactly, riff. Four, sleep. S, u, e, p, sleep. Toy, how about sang? Sang, sang, yeah, s, a, n, very good toy, and what is this word here, yacht, yacht, how many word, or how many sounds there,
Now, instead of sounds, look, look, let's look at our symbols here. Three symbols and three words. Now, which words go with which symbols? Which word goes here? Chips. Chips. Good. And what word would go here? Judge. Ch for chips and judge. Is there one or two of those symbols in that word? We can use this symbol twice. J, 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 judge. And this one is the? Sing or thing. Thing. Okay, it's the unvoiced TH sound. Ah, uh, six. Everybody listen and repeat. Six. 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 Very difficult to say. Huh? All right. Again, I have a worksheet for you. I have all of our new symbols, and we have 16 words. Okay? We want to get our words correct with the right symbol. Three of you together. Not a toy. And now. Okay, pens down. We'll finish this together here. Let's get our eyes up here at the board. Okay, we've got our symbols on the board, just like on our paper. Okay, so, win. Could you give me two words that go with this symbol? Chips. And cheap. Okay. Has anybody heard the English expression cheap as chips? Cheap as chips? Right. And what words go with that symbol there? Riff. Great. And? Great. Judge and jelly. And how about this symbol here, toy? Great. And the other word? Theater. Great. Theater. And how about this symbol here, Rome? Further, good. Further. And them, good. And this symbol here, Ati? Fish, great. And? Sheep, good. And this symbol here, guy. That's very good, guy. Treasure and measure. And our symbol here, Dewey. Good? If 
funky and monkey. All right? And the symbol for y. What goes there? What? Great. Yoga and yell. Funky. Oh, like cool. Yeah? Funky. All right. Sort of, sort of a slang word, right? Okay. Maybe you can be. There's a famous song that talks about a funky town. Well, all right. So, now we're going to play a game to see if how well we remember these symbols. Okay. Okay, got our new symbols here. Okay, basically, if I say a word, I want you to tell me which symbol goes with that word. Right? Now, you can't tell me because it's hard to tell me from where you're sitting. So, I'm going to choose one person, actually two people, to come up to the board and show us which symbol we want. Okay, so we'll have two teams, everybody sitting in the blue chairs, okay, blue, we should give you a team name about blue, we've got red and blue, what can we do, we could have the red team and the blue team, how about, let's have ice, team ice and Team fire. All right, fire and ice. We're going to have one student from each team. Okay, I'll choose you. I'll say one word, and you come up as quickly as you can and show me which letter or which symbol goes with that word. For example, okay, if I'm sitting here and it's riff and oath, yeah, you're going to. In fact, let's use you as an example. Get ready to rush up to the board. Switch up your, your desktop there, but sit in your chair now. Well, you, can you can get ready to go, though. Okay. I'll say a word, and you quickly race up to the board and show me which symbol we're talking about. Okay, Ulf? All right. Are you ready? Okay. Share. Share, share, <laughs> okay, all right, you got it there, all right. Now, when we're playing for real riff, if you show me the wrong symbol, I cannot give you a point. Okay, you have to show me the correct symbol first. Okay, you're going to race to the board and show us which symbol. All right, so let's go with Ati and Jui. Okay, you have to get ready. All right. Choose. 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 Ch 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 choose. All right. Can somebody from another team help us? Yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. 
All right. Now, Dewey was pointing to this letter, uh, this symbol. Which sound does this symbol make? Shh, shh. And what did we want with ch choose? Ch choose, okay? So nobody gets a point there. Dewey wanted this one, okay? And Ati was trying to figure that out. Let's see who can get a point here. All right, win. You're next. Okay, and no, okay, no, you have to be ready to get up out of that chair, okay, no, you can stand up actually, when you stay there, she's further away, she's further away, okay, are you ready, thigh, 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 Okay, sit down. Yep. That's all right. We pointed to this one first. Is that one the correct one? No. No, right? This one makes the... But this one was... Five. Five. We're not vibrating there. All right, let's see if we can get a point on the board. Okay. No points yet? No points yet? We both wanted... We both wanted this one, but really, it was this one. Okay, Toy and Rum. Okay. Toy, you can get ready to go. You can stand up. You're a little further away. Okay, how about shallow? Shallow. Toy got it. Okay. <laughs> right? We have deep water and shallow water. So... Our ice gets a point. They're on the board. Fenda's next. And Guy. Okay. Guy, you can stand up. You're further away. Okay. Now, how about wing? Wing. Wing. Yeah. All right. All right, we had a wing in there. <laughs> Our ice gets another point. Okay, fire, where are we? Okay, we got to melt this ice down. <laughs> All right. Now, let's pick, uh, how about Ati again? We'll do Oath soon. And Mal. Okay. Ati, you can do it. All right. Ati's standing further away, so you, you can stand up this time. Okay. Now... J January. J J <laughs> Vend is really, really happy that we went with this one. You, you want one point, yeah? Is Venda going to get one point if we were pointing to this one? J January. J J right? What does this one go with? January, okay, and shallow. What is this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So it's still two to zero. All right. Now let's pick somebody at random. Not. And oath. Okay. Oath, are you ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go with, how about, measure. <laughs> All right. No, you knew it. You knew it, but Ulf was just a little bit quick there. All right, he got fire on the board. He got fire on the board with measure. And how about Rome? And Dewey. Okay, Dewey, you can stand up and get ready. Rome, you stay where you are. Okay. Just, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, now, 
How about chance? Ch chance. Ch ch oh! <laughs> Is that chance? Ch yes, that'll do. Chance. And Julie, you had it, but Rome beat you by just a little bit there. Okay. Two to two. All right. Let's see who can get to five first. All right? The team that gets to five first wins. Now, how about Venda and Guy? Venda and Guy. Okay, Venda's very close. Guy, you can stand up and get ready. Guy, Guy, you can stand up. All right. Now, how about... <laughs> okay, ready? Jumping. Jumping. J j j <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We wanted the j in jumping. All right. So, ice. One point closer to the win. Okay, riff. Riff and win. Uh, riff. You're pretty good. I think you better. I think you better sit down. Okay. Are we ready? Year. Year. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Have a seat. Have a seat. Good. Yep. That'll do it. Right. Okay. Riff. What is this one? What sound does this make? J and what were we looking for? Ye ye year. Year. All right. Win. Good job. Now, how about we need Ati? Ati again and, and Toy. Toy. Okay. okay. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Shoo. Shoo. All right. <laughs> yep. All right. Yep. Remember this one is sh sh shushing down the slopes and all right. Fire. You need to win. You need to win this point. Okay, let's have Venda. Venda and Mal. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Yesterday. Y y oh, <laughs> all right. Did Mal get the right one? Yeah, y yesterday. Ice got five points, very good job. All right. So these are our new symbols for the sounds that we want to make. They're here. Next time, we'll start to learn about our vowels. Okay, and then the time after that, our other special vowels. Okay, so thank you for coming. It's been fun, and we'll see you next time. All right.